Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Project Zomboid version 35.15. 15 has added this ability to see what, you know, what loot item you're looking at. It kind of colors it differently. It's kind of nice because it kind of tells you when a zombie's dead, too. But, um, I just need to apologize right off the bat. I had deleted the real episode 15, uh, 25. I was doing I was doing some cleanup of some of my videos and I didn't realize that I did not post process this video and I ended up deleting the the raw the raw original recording of it. So um, we're kind of left with this kind of half and half video where I'm going to show you what I did in that video where I came over to the kindergarten and um, I basically built these walls and I built a I built a chair to rest. Um, we're going to do a little bit more work. We're going to put some we're going to put some. Uh, some crates down. Let's see if I have enough. Uh, doesn't look like I have any nails on me. Nope. So let's go and deconstruct a couple things. But yeah, I wanted to say right off the bat, sorry, sorry very much for. Uh, oh God, can I, can I climb through? Climb through. Wow, I wasn't able to climb through for some reason. But um, but yeah, so sorry about um, you know, deleting that video. This video isn't going to be anywhere near as long, and I'll explain why. Uh, because at this point in the game, I, I can't really think of anything else to do in Southern Muldra, and, and except for start moving the. Uh, we've got some planks already. Uh, except for moving all the gear that we have. So I've got a lot of Project Zomboid to play this weekend, and because there's no you know saving and loading going on in Project Zomboid, it's you know, one save, you die, you're dead. Uh, I can't really revert back to before this episode started. So we're going to go ahead and build these um, these crates. And then um, we're going to go ahead and, and stop uh, very early. Maybe like five minutes or six minutes long episode. But yeah, once again, very sorry about missing that episode. Uh, I will uh, <laughs> do better in the future. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't really allow for the saving and loading stuff, so I'm really kind of stuck with what we have right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and build. Oh, I need 90 nails. That was the big thing, right? Let me go ahead and drop the, the planks here. Let's go find something. Yeah, I'm not able to um, go through this window without clicking it. Interesting. I wonder if I need another wall there or something. Let's go find something to disassemble. Johnny, disassemble. Johnny five, no disassemble. All right, I think, no, I don't know if doors will give us what we need. At least we get to uh, loot this, ooh, sleeping tablets. Definitely need those. Allows us to loot, or to search this whole area and clear out all the zombies in case she sleeps here. Oh God, got someone screaming in the, in, in the distance. Hello. Alright. Let's take these two guys out. And I wonder if these chairs are... Pistol. Nice. These chairs are considered wood or metal. Probably, but we can definitely take apart these cabinets. That's not a problem. So let's go ahead and clear all these cabinets out. Some canned corn. It's random to have inside of it. Yeah, it's really cool how you can see the, the different cabinets, which ones you're accessing. Really neat. All right, let's get our uh, screwdriver and our saw and our hammer. I think we already have it out. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and disassemble. Don't want to speed up time here. Not the smartest idea. All right, that looks like all, nope, we need one more nail. Get those nails in there and some more planks. Actually, those are the amount of planks that we need. We just need one more, one more nail. There we go. All right, let's head up there and make those crates. So uh, starting this weekend, I'm going to be basically moving everything that we've looted as of now up to the log ca uh, the log facility the logging facility so that's going to take me more time than i have today to make this video which is why uh, 
And I did really want to start a big building episode on a Friday. We're going to have to have multiple days to do kind of a, a larger building episode. So let's go ahead and get those crates built. And then we'll go ahead and convene the episode. All right. Oh, need those planks. Need those planks. So yeah, we've got these three kind of um, temporary safe houses so that we can start moving all of our stuff between the main safe house and the logging facility. And then at that point, we're going to do some farming. We're going to do some building. It's going to be a lot of building and a lot of grinding. The only thing that we're missing right now, unfortunately, is still um, a the the carpentry book. We have the carpentry book for levels eight or seven and eight, but we don't have the one for nine and ten. So we may have to do a little bit of looting in between and maybe put together another safe house to the east of the logging facility. So let's go ahead and carpenter ourselves some crates. Just we could just use two. Don't plan to go too much further with that. All right, what am I missing here? Oh no, we need three planks. Three planks needed. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can hold down E to get through uh, this window anymore. Wonder what has changed. And get through this window just fine. Looks like we can disassemble these. Um... Oh, that's really cool. It tells you what it's missing now. That is really nice. It doesn't actually require the um, doesn't really require the the screwdriver as I thought, or maybe I, maybe it does. Let's see. Oh, it only it only give it to you when uh, you you can't disassemble it. That's nice. All right, let's get two more planks and then we're good to go. We head to sleep. We can prepare for. The coming days, we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth. You guys won't have to see that on uh, video, but um, I'll be doing it this weekend. And by the time we, we reconvene on Monday, all of our stuff will be in the new facility. And we'll be ready to, to finally put down a permanent place to call home. I wonder if I just have to tap E. Nope. Tapping E does nothing. All right, let's throw this crate on top. And that should be enough room for all the stuff that we're gonna be holding here temporarily. Oh, that's not the way I want it to stack. <laughs> Oops, that's all right. Not a big deal. We're not spending too much time here. So let's, um, before we, before we end the episode, let's go ahead and check to see what we need to disassemble any of the metal products or metal items. I wonder if these disassemble like like school bench. No, that's the that's the carpentry. Yeah, so it's telling you hammer or stone hammer and saw. So you don't actually need the screwdriver for that. I wonder if others require the screwdriver because I I could have sworn I heard that you need the screwdriver for it. No. So far, so good. Let's find something that's metal, like the sink here. Yeah, the propane torch and the welding mask. That's all you need to uh, disassemble these wood things, or uh, the, the metal items. Talking about sinks, let's get some water. And let's head back to the main safe house. So yeah, I think it's going to take about four or five trips of moving all of our stuff. And the first thing we have to do is we have to head over to our other safe houses that are in that are in town here. So the, the doctor's office, the two-story house next to the doctor's office, as well as the southern warehouse. I want to ensure that everything that we have gathered in each of those locations has been moved to the main safe house. Uh, and then once that's done, I'm going to then move everything to the, the lumber facility. So that we'll have everything that we've looted in these 25 episodes. And uh, we can move on to the next phase of the game. Which is basically building a more permanent location for us to live out the rest of the year. Uh, we don't... We're definitely not every episode is going to be living the life at this new place. It's going to be, 
you know, let's get all the farming stuff ready to go. Let's get all the carpentry stuff ready to go. And then I'm going to go loot a bunch of places because we still need the carpentry book. We've got to, we got to take a tally of what books we have and what books we don't. So there's still quite a bit of looting. It's still a quite a bit of zombie killing that needs to be done. So I, I tend to be a, be a player that I like to roam in this game. I don't like to have... I don't like to have a place where I just stay forever. It's kind of how I keep myself interested in the game. Uh, but what happens is, where am I going? Just sitting here talking. I have no idea where I'm going. I think I went a little too far south. Because all I had to do was just follow the road east, and then I'm right there. But um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing moving forward after, after this weekend. And uh, so on Monday, we'll have all of our junk all put into the logging facility and we'll be ready to start building. I love to start messing around with some of the metalworking stuff. I think I'm going to spend most of the time disassembling things. Ooh, we got some zombies trying to break into our uh, secondary safe house here. I got to check to see if we've left anything in here, too. Yeah, basically going to do a bunch of cleanup that you guys aren't going to want to watch because it's just going to be a ton of walking. A lot of moving stuff, a lot of inventory game, and uh, I want to get us to a point where everything is super organized and ready to go. And what I was saying was, I like to be a player that, that creates a big base to keep everything nice and organized, to know what I need to loot. Um, but at the same time, I'm off looting all day anyways, so that, that when I come back, it's all really organized and ready to go. That way I know where to put things. And at the same time... Um, I, I'm also a player that doesn't like to waste the non-perishable food. I like to try to live off the land as much as possible. Uh, so having a place that we have traps set up and have a farm set up, that will allow us to keep food on a cycle that um, will keep us away from having to use any of the non-perishable food. So um, yeah, so I'll see you guys on Monday. And uh, once again, I'm sorry about uh, missing out on that last episode. I basically just walked down Main Street Killed a bunch of zombies on the way there. It was pretty hectic. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I deleted it because there, there were a couple moments that were so close, so close. But um, I was able to make it just fine and uh, clear out the area around the kindergarten and then come on back here to the main safe house. So this is Johnny O'Nose. You all have a really great weekend and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Project Zomboid uh, or uh, 35.15, I know I've had a couple questions on how do you get the I will back up my save branch. Please, if, if you have a question on that, I can show you that too. All right, folks, so this is Johnny O'Nose playing Project Zomboid version 35.15. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.